Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another Shock and Not Toy Reviews. I am one of your reviewers, Wilson, joined by the main man, Toast. And in this episode, we're reviewing this toy. It is the Boss Fight Studio Sam figure from Sam and Max. But before we get started, Toast, you love podcasts, don't you? Yeah. Oh, well, did you know that we have a podcast called Shock Therapy Toys? I do. Did you know that it's on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play? You can download it now and subscribe. I've heard that. Oh, that's great. If you guys are interested, tech, check it out. It's also on the YouTube page. But please give us a subscription and a and a review on uh, iTunes or anywhere. It helps us grow. And please hit the notification bell below so you guys know or when new reviews are coming out. But anyways, let's get to Sam. We are going to do Max, but he'll be in his own review. So I have been waiting forever for these guys. So excited to get them. And you're not alone. Yeah. There's there's a lot of excitement. And I love Steve Purcell's Sam and Max. I love the comic. Uh, I, I played the video game, the point and click like a video game as a kid. I watched the cartoon and this toy does a really good job of visually representing uh, Sam. So he's got the big feet, the big hands, the big tie, everything that you remember from the cartoon or comics. It's all there. Uh, Boss Fight has really done a great sculpt on this. All the folds in, in the fabric back here and the buttons on his shirt or uh, the buttons on his sleeve of his coat are painted gold. Uh, turning them back around, the face is a perfect sculpt for Sam. He's got that, that grin on his face and the little tufts of hair too. Mm hmm so it's all done well. There's really no complaints. The uh, coat is a softer plastic, so it does have let you get some movement mm -hmm. in on it. Now, anybody who doesn't like pointy knees may be a little disappointed. <laughs> Sculpt on the knees right here and juts out. And it's a big point right there, and that's at the knee bend. So it looks a little funky maybe from the sides, but I, I'll let it slide. Yeah, I kept trying to, to close the knee to straighten out the... Yeah, be careful. Straighten out the leg. There we go. It's a little tough. Yeah. But uh, I think it's just big detents inside the knee joint. Um, looks better. All right, time to move him around or go through the articulation. So he's got pretty good at articulation now. Uh, his head does move left and right, up and down pretty well. Uh, that's a little restricted but not too bad. Up and down just a little bit because yeah. his, his chin runs into the tie there. Yeah, uh, his other heads will get a little bit more movement. For his arms, he's got in and out, up and down, it's 360. There are still detents in there. Yeah. Everything moves moves smooth. Yeah. he's uh, You can twist around 360 at the elbows, and they can also go up and down. Yeah. Turn, yeah. His swivel. wrist just his wrist just swivel. Uh, they don't have any in and out, which is a little bit of a disappointment. He does have a waist, very good waist, works well. Mm, swivels. Mm-hmm. And then at the thighs, just gets in Impressive and out. Movement yes, he can get lots. His knees are single jointed. I'm not moving those knees again. No, they're very tight, and his feet are great. They get great ankle tilt, left and right. And uh, there is no toe. I would have liked to see that, but in and out, too. I'm big ball back, so you can get him in great stances, actually. Yeah, this this I like because you can do yeah. a lot. Get a nice wide stance and still have flat feet. Mm -hmm. Boom. For accessories, he really shines here. Oh. He comes with... Oh. Motherfucker. It's doing so well. He comes. Here's the hat. <laughs> it was. He he comes with his giant pistol that it looks just like it does in the comics. It's painted on the handle real well. You were saying that it's supposed to droop like this? Yeah, a little bit. He always was drawn with a little bit of a bend, either up or down. Okay. Because um, it's a giant, you know. It's a pretty gun. big gun. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. It's a nice texture nice detail there on the grip otherwise it's it's pretty plain it's a nice sculpt though oh yeah 
He's got his hat that we saw on him earlier. Kind of fits. You can get it on there snug enough, but it does sometimes come off. But it does fit on all the heads that he comes with. And what was that? Heads? Heads. Heads. He's got this head well, or that head. Mm-hmm. That's just a standard kind of happy... Kind of whistling? Yeah, whistling face. And then the other head is an angry Sam. And all of them we did notice have this strange indented line. Yeah, seam. And it goes all the way around the head on each side. Mm -hmm. Don't know really why that is. It's a little bit annoying if you really focus on it, but... Oh, I thought the heads might come apart. No. Hmm. I don't believe so. I that, ain't trying. <laughs> that is curious. Yeah. I'll try. No, you won't. So you're too already. No, you won't. So this is a, another hand, if you will. Um, this as seen in the comic book. You take one of the hands off and you put it on, and this is his little Max puppet from when they went to space and he lost Max for a little bit. This looks fantastic. It works so well, and it is awesome. I love this sculpt. It looks perfect, exactly how it looked in the comic and cartoon. So good. And speaking of hands, hands, he's got some relaxed ones. He's got two fists, and then he's got trigger finger hands that he's holding right here, and they all hold what they're supposed to real well, even the popsicle. And for whatever reason, they give him a popsicle. I can't remember. I think he was drawn in some things with a popsicle. So the popsicle fit i mean these it's a pretty wide opening the popsicle fits fine in there i think so if you get it All right. right or it might fit in these maybe the the fingers are pretty stiff i guess they do flex works oh yeah sure enough that one works well enough yep and yeah the fingers aren't stiff so getting the stuff in his hands is is very simple sam max raul and Another Joe suit. Fix it. Uh, <laughs> Marvel Legends build a figure. Yeah. So lots of suits. They look all good. Like, yeah, they could go on a detective adventure together. This is probably, what, five inches? He's six, actually. Oh, I okay. think from uh, maybe to the top of the hat, he's six. That but makes I, sense. They, they say that in the on the box, I believe. Mr. Toast. How much do they cost? Uh, they are 40 a piece, I believe. And you buy them separate? Separate. Yep. Okay. That makes. Before we started this, you were talking about reviewing them separate, yeah. and I was I was curious why. I thought it was a two pack. No, but they okay, come separate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I'm okay with that. It's roughly an an import toy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's um, specialty. It comes with a decent amount of accessories. The the sculpt is great. Uh, the joints are a little bit worrisome, but I think if you take care, they'd be fine. Um. I did not read the comics or play the game, but I'm, I'm familiar with them. I've seen their faces for, for decades. Yeah. If you like it, you should get these two. Um, they look fantastic. I'd give it a, screw it, four and a half out of five. Nice. First off, my first copy of Sam broke at the knee when I first got it out of the package. Luckily, I was able to resolve that, get the return, and get a replacement from the uh, online vendor that I used. If it wasn't for that, he would be higher. Are you still getting a four out of five? Um, I'm a little disappointed that he doesn't have in and out wrist movement, and some of the articulation is limited. The tight joints do worry me. Um, I'm scared that he'll break again, but I love the accessories. They nailed the sculpt. They nailed the paint. He looks great, and he's really, really fun. Just the character and the whole... Everything about them, the whole package is really, really fun. So what's funny is I was caught talking to a friend of the show, Topher. He, when I was telling him about, oh, we're going to be filming top five toys, you know, here. Yeah. He's like, well, December's not over. There's like a week left in December. Yeah. Right? I go, well, what the f*** can come out within a week in December that's going to, you know, change my mind that drastically? Right. He said, good point. And then he told me how awesome these fuckers were, <laughs> and then I got them, and sure enough, they're 
been great and they would may have made the top five maybe not number one but they would have made the top five and it's surprising but i i love them and i can't wait to give my thoughts on max but four out of five if you're a fan of good toys get it if you're a fan of sam and max you have to get them both that's the one thing i think they should have maybe just made it a two pack though and give me everything together because I don't know why you would buy one and not the other. Yeah, that does seem weird. It's it's double the packaging that way. Yeah, right. I mean, I'd pay eighty for everything that they give you. But maybe together. it would have been seventy-five. That's made it possible. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let us know what you think if you got any thoughts on that in the comments below. Thank you for watching any and all amounts that you did. Again, hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe if you don't already subscribe. And all the social media stuff is either at the bottom of the screen or in the show description. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Spread the word. And until next time. Thanks, buddy.